So in our previous video, we talked a little bit about the modern history and the evolution of public relations over the last, you know, couple hundred years from the 1800s through to today. And uh, so we've covered where we came from. I want to talk a little bit now and look into the future a little bit, check our crystal ball and see if we can identify what may be coming down the pike for public relations practitioners in the future. So with that in mind, let's take a look at some future trends in public relations and just some key questions, things we need to be aware of in public relations that may be coming up for us in the in the next you know evolutionary stage for public relations so when we think about key questions first of all one big one is as you have probably already sorted out is the growth and impact of digital media just the huge explosion of digital media that we didn't have in 20 years ago really this was not a factor nearly as much as it is today uh, and in fact, if we look at the, the social media usage in the United States, adults for, for adults in the United States, social media usage in 2005 was about 7% of the adult population in the United States. Uh, in 2018, it was 73%. So this dynamic explosion, exponential growth in the usage of social media, for example, in the United States as part of digital media. Um, just just went through the roof. Uh, another area that the, of, of importance that can kind of characterize this growth force, the percentage of Americans who get some portion of their news from social media or have some portion of their intake, news intake from social media uh, in, in the United States. In 2012, that represented 49 percent of the population, which is pretty big. I mean, that's a lot of people getting at least part of their news intake from social media. Uh, and in the, in the, uh, the span of just those eight years though, since then, and, and, and we moved to 2020, we see that that number grows to 71% of American adults who get some portion of their news intake from social media. That's just incredible. Digital media is having an enormous impact on the entire world and public relations is not immune to that. We, we have to embrace that and really determine how we can best utilize digital media uh, for growth and impact in the public relations industry as well. We're also seeing, you know, and expect to see more of an emphasis on measurement and ROI. So measurement meaning, you know, some quantitative um, way to determine, you know, what impact did this public relations effort, did this public relations campaign, did this, this work in public relations have on our bottom line? How, how do we measure that quantitatively? It's not just a matter of, you know, what does it feel like? It used to be just kind of in, in some ways you just say, well, that seemed like it went pretty well. Now, now we need to have some sort of way to quanti quantifiably measure the impact uh, and, and have that as part of our objectives and our goals as you know, built into that public relations campaign. How are we going to measure this in a quantitative way? you know, in a very specific quantitative way. And then also along with that, then focusing on return of investment, that's ROI. ROI is just return on investment, return on investment. So in other words, what are we getting out of this in a, in a very specific, very quantifiable way? In fact, ROI has this formula where you just very simply divide net profit. So what is it that you gained in net? What is it that you, you profited? The organization profited from this in a quantitative way, divide that by what you spent you know, divide what you earned by what, you know, what you gained by what you spent, multiply that by a hundred, that gives you your, your percentage of ROI. So it's, it's got that very specific formula and, and organizations are looking for this. Now, this is again, part of the evaluation process for public relations it has to do with these specific quantifiable methods for measuring and identifying return on investment from a public relations effort or public relations campaign. We're also seeing the integration of public relations and marketing. Again, I mentioned this before, we spent a lot of time defining between, you know, the difference between public relations and marketing and advertising, and they are different. They're very different. They have different functions, um, different objectives, different purposes, but they are also very much tied together for many organizations. So, um, so really seeing more of an integration between partners and, and partnership between public relations and marketing and even advertising in there as well. So how are they working together? Even though they have different functions, different objectives, a lot of times, really, how do they work for an organization together to, to meet those singular objectives of the organization? So we're seeing more integration and, and a future trend is the integration between the public relations and marketing function working together in partnership. Some additional key questions we need to have in mind as we look to the future of public relations, uh, the intersection between public relations and corporate social responsibility or CSR. 
Corporate social responsibility involves a lot of different things, but basically what are the responsibilities? You know, we, we, we identify, you know, what are the responsibilities of citizens, for example, as a citizen of your community and of the United States or whatever country you're living in, uh, what are your responsibilities as a citizen? How, what are you responsible for in terms of dealing with other people and maintaining your property and, and so forth? What are your, what are your obligations as a citizen of that, of that, uh, of that community and of that, of that state, of that country, whatever? Uh, and, and we're recognizing that organizations now have the same types of responsibilities in a sense, right? We have organizations have a responsibility to the publics that they serve. Now, one of those publics, if you're a for-profit organization, would be to your stakeholders or to your ownership or, and to your employees and things. But you also have responsibilities to the public around you, the publics that you serve, your customers, what you're providing them, and also to the world around you to not be environmentally damaging, for example, right? To do your best to to help you know, maintain a healthy global environment for us and to be ethical, to be fair, to, to use your, your resources wisely and with good stewardship and so forth. So, so how does public relations factor into all that for these organizations? That's where we're seeing more of that intersection of public relations playing a role, um, not just in strategy and not just application, but, but executive leadership decisions when it comes to corporate social responsibility, what our, what are our responsibilities as an organization and how can we best meet those things and fulfill those responsibilities? And so you're seeing more uh, of again, interaction in the intersection between public relations and the area of corporate social responsibility. One thing we really have to do a better job of in public relations. And, and I think there's a real understanding of this and, and there've been some efforts, but I'm still much, much, more to do in this area is diversity and inclusion. Uh, if you look back at the video we did on the modern history of public relations, it's really a bunch of old white guys that were featured in that. Lots of people of color and, and minorities and women have done great things in public relations, but it's, it's, you know, limited enough that it stands out you know, because we have not as public relations as a field has not done a very good job of, of, uh, in, you know, really improving diversity and inclusion. And that's important for a couple of different reasons. Um, first of all, I mean, just, you know, again, that social responsibility sense, we have the responsibility to, to uh, be inclusive as a, as a field and to, to really be represented well by, by people of all backgrounds and ethnicities and, and cultures and, and all those different types of things. Right. But in a more practical sense, beyond just the ethical responsibility, it's important for a variety of different reasons, including things like um, how can you as, as a public relations advisor, an organization or part of an organization, how can you expect to reach an audience if you're not if you don't if you're not represented in your organization by people from that audience? How, you know, how can you expect to, to speak to people uh, from these minorities if you are a group of you know, middle-aged white guys, how can you really understand the best way to reach and engage that audience if you're not represented, if you don't have that representation in your organization? So we need diversity for that reason, just in a very practical sense. We also need diversity for the, uh, we talk about diversity of thought and diversity of ideas as well, to get out of these kind of boxes that we've been in, where we have these homogenous people of this, you know, similar background, similar, similar cultures and things you're going to get a very limited scope of ideas with that. So you really need that diversity in public relations to help enhance the diversity of thought and the diversity of, of ideas and the diversity of leadership and, and, uh, and, and just in terms of representation. Um, it's, it's a very important in a practical sense, very important thing that we need to improve upon in the immediate future. And certainly in an ongoing sense as well, but this is something that needs to be a priority in the field of public relations is increasing the, uh, the, the, the diversity of not just personnel, but, but diversity of thought, diversity of, of ideas and all those types of things. So that's something in the future, in the very near future, in the immediate future and in the long-term future that needs to be improved in the area of public relations. One other key question that we're going to have to answer as public relations folks is this idea of globalization. You know, since we have this world now of digital media and, and we really have a broader audience, you know, organizations <clears throat> are multinational now. They are, they're, they're worldwide organizations are working all across the globe because we can, we have that kind of reach now. And so public relations uh, firms need to be thinking outside of just their community 
and into, you know, a, a larger scope, uh, this idea of globalization, which again can come back to diversity and inclusion and it, it involves all of those types of things. Um, but, but really we need to be thinking globally now and how is this going to impact or the organization that we're working with or representing or whatever, how is this going to, to uh, affect that organization on a global level, not just on a local level, but now our audience is really the world. So we need to, to keep that in mind and, and have that, that sense of globalization. How do we best manage that? How do we best utilize that and capitalize on that as public relations practitioners? So, you know, this again, just offered a little bit of a glimpse, a glimpse into that uh, crystal ball. And uh, these are more questions than answers, though, right? We need to, these are things we know are coming and that we need to, to have an answer for in the future for public relations. So it's going to be up to that next sort of evolutionary group to, as we expand upon this to, to identify what are the, uh, the best answers for these key questions as we look at the future of public relations. If you have questions about this or about anything related to public relations, the history, the future, and so forth, please feel free to email me. I'd love to hear from you there. In the meantime, I hope that you will be thinking about these things as somebody who's potentially going to be involved in public relations in the future. These are things we need to think about now so that we have an answer for them as we move forward.